Well, by midsummer, there's always gaps on the vegetable plot, and certainly there are here in the veg truck. The early salad leaves are finished, and I cleared those out. And I did sow some wild rocket, but the weather here has been really hot and dry. And despite the fact that I think it was reasonably well watered, the wild rocket very quickly withered. So I'm going to wait before I sow it again until we get some cooler weather and some rainfall. Certainly the, the bush runner beans are doing well and they're flowering well and the flowers are setting, which was a bit concerning to start with. There's plenty of bees around, we've kept them well watered and in some cases the beans are almost ready to pick, I think, in a few days. The broad beans were really good earlier on and I've kept those in and cut them back because they are showing signs of shooting from the base. As far as actually cell grown plants and pot grown plants go, there's not a lot really in the garden centres and nurseries at this time of the year. But you will find a few leeks and sometimes a few cabbage plants and sprouts and things which you could still plant. These cell grown leeks look quite good. I mean, they're certainly, these are as big as I'd want to plant. And I think, you know, the idea of a cell grown leek is, is good, but traditionally I always plant leeks quite deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some of these planted as the cell grown plant. And I'm going to try some in the traditional way. And normally, with a leek, what I would do is I would tease out the roots and I would tidy the plant up. I'd snip back the foliage so that there's less leaf and I'd cut off the bottom of the roots because that encourages them to branch and make a really good base. And then I'd use a dibber to make a nice deep hole, drop the leek in so that the whole of the white part of the leek is completely buried and then I just puddle that in with water and that is the way that I would do them certainly in the open ground and I'm going to try that in the veg truck and I'm also going to try planting some completely undisturbed. And I'm using a dibber to make a good size hole and I'm planting them in this deepest part of the veg drug where the compost is, is really deep. And then I'll leave these areas around the side where we've got the shallow compost and later on when that weather cools down I'm going to sow some more rocket and see how we get on. So. The veg truck now has been producing really since probably late March. Um, we're now into August and still cropping. So, so far so good. Very productive year.